Hey, Orange One here. So, in the last episode, we explored that mine and got those gloves that create smoke. But seeing how we got the power armor, I just honestly think I'm just gonna be keeping that in the in the car. Um, and right now it's night, which is not the best for exploring. But I decided to head down to the city and maybe clear it out a little bit. And before I did that, I was looking at some of the meals that we could make, and we can actually make a ton of different food right now. Um. And also I noticed that there's a uh, crashed helicopter, so we're just, just going to go check that out really quick. And then probably loot out some of the city, try and fix up that uh, part of the vehicle that got um, smashed in the last episode. Some sort of helicopter. It's like it's just a zombie soldiers. You know stump will let you take care of that. Thought maybe there would be a bio operator, but it doesn't look like it. Items in here? No, nothing? Really? Huh. Usually find something. You know, I bet if we dug up the wreckage, we would find some stuff in there. You know, what I just realized was that I've, since I've changed the tile set, I have no idea what anything looks like with the the trees and whatnot. Let's get some of that stand up back. There we go. Did they drop anything useful? What's this? Oh wow, that's a... Sort of sniper. That seems pretty powerful. <laughs> An MRE. And a grenade. And we could grab... Why don't we grab the things that have Kevlar in them? If for nothing else, for role-playing purposes, I think that would make sense for us to do. And a gas mask. It's always good to have a couple extras of those. I mean, I think that we're going to need to be... Oh, look, they even had infrared goggles. I think we're going to be having some um, more NPC recruits relatively soon, because in the last... I think the last thing that we had... Um, whatchamacallit... The last episode, there was somebody that was going to be ready to be recruited soon. Maybe we'll take all that. Do we need the leather? No, I don't think we really need the leather. Yeah, we got some storage space there, good. It says it's full. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, our vehicle storage is getting pretty full now. We're gonna have to unload it again soon. That's something I always struggle with, is having enough storage space in these vehicles. I might want to modify it um, so that it's got more storage space. Okay. I really shouldn't be doing exploring in the middle of the night, seeing how we're not going to be able to see anything. Or 
Where's that Medusa spider? You know what we could do is we could do some butchery. Oh, young queen ant. That thing is pretty dangerous, so I'd like to take that out. And it just drops some eggs. If I'm not careful, could spawn another ant queen, so I should probably go get those eggs. And yeah, maybe we should get the butchery rack and get that over here. I think that it's just shooting that necromancer, right? zombies coming our way. Well, you know what I really like is how this tile set, the zombies, their corpses match what they actually look like, as opposed to like in chest hole when it's just like a generic um, display. Yeah, let's take out this juggernaut, sorry it's gonna probably make us out of breath. At least Womp Stump gets some experience fighting these things. There we go. Maybe I should have checked the ground before I tried to smash there. Okay, and it's uh let's come back here. Air stand my back. And Oh, hold on. Let's not put it under the vehicle. Yeah, I'm just trying to honestly just find something to kill some time in game so that we don't waste this time. Um, ever since we've stopped needing to sleep, night has become essentially like, well, should we really be traveling right now? Probably not. So what do we do during this time? And then I think I also need a toolbox. I am pretty excited about some of the food options that we have available to us, though. I just um, saw that there was a... Because um, we got the pasta extruder, we can make like ramen noodles and like mac and cheese and spaghetti. The like uh, pesto spaghetti that I made like a few episodes ago that just was makes our character really happy. Well, yeah, why don't we take that down? No idea where we took this from. I should be able to fit some, a decent amount of stuff. The stand was driving me a little bit crazy. There we go. Um, we have to move some things around, I think.
Yeah, things are getting pretty full. Move some of the smaller stuff, I think. Is it completely full? Yeah, it's pretty much full. Kind of confused though, because it's saying it's got 44 out of 50. So it shouldn't be that full. It should be able to take um, a little bit more. It's not. What about this one up here? Okay, actually we have a little bit of space right there. Take as much as we can. Dehydrate it. By the time we're done with this, I bet it's day. Oh, hold on. I'm controlling the vehicle. I don't need to be doing that. Uh, yeah. Oh no, we can't wield it. Well, let's dump... Saw so that meat down. One crystal and we can can some of it, but I think we'll we'll keep the cans for other things that we need to use cans for. Let's just make a ton of dehydrated meat. We do that a few times and it'll be day. Maybe one more time. Should probably make that a favorite recipe as well. Here we go. Sounds good to me. Turrets <laughs> shooting things as, as usual. And we've got tons of dehydrated meat. I put that away in here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to unload some stuff. Probably going to be one of the first things we do in the next episode. Oh look, there's a ton of zombies over here or something. Oh, it's a bunch of the blob. I feel like we should fight them, but we don't need to. Um, I'm going to explore a little bit. We've got a telescope. So we should be good to to check out the surrounding areas, and then maybe we can uh we can make some some delicious food. Actually, yeah. I'm, sorry, I changed my mind. Let's let's clear out the blob here, and then we'll make some food while we're here. I want to see what food we could make. Yeah, that's that zombie soldier's far away. Actually, we already have a ton of uh, deluxe sandwiches, so we don't even really need to make that much food right now. I don't think we need to make any food right right now. But I did want to just kind of show you some stuff. There was... Um, 
I think it was like a pesto. Yeah, that's got a huge morale bonus on it, which is awesome. You don't actually need to use actual pesto. <laughs> so that is definitely going to become a favorite. Um, probably going to make that in the near future. But it can't freeze. If it gets frozen, it's not going to be as tasty. Um, oh, wow. Look at all of the stuff we can see from here. I kind of wanted to see if there was any dojos. Because if there's a dojo, I'm going for it, essentially. I want to get some good martial arts. Mm, not really anything I'm interested in. Why don't we drive around the outside of this, the city, see if there's anything that's even worth looting. Because I suspect there will be. There's usually some good stuff in cities, but we're gone, we've gone to the point where I'm, I'm pretty picky on what I'm willing to loot. Or spend the time too clear to loot. That is a pretty big group of zombies, though. It's like so far away from our base, it's like, do I really need to be clearing this out? There's a bank right there, though. That would be worth a stop. Let's slow it down a little bit so we don't end up running into the tree. There's a security robot fighting some zombies. Right by the bank, too. You know, the big group of zombies is so far away from this bank, I think we could probably just go for it. Like, just go in and loot what we need to loot. Security robot, though, is firing its firearm. Which means that that sound's gonna attract more zombies. You know, I bet if we set up the laser turret out here, we could probably fight off the zombies that come our way, and then we can loot the bank. Sounds like a pretty decent plan to me. You know what, Wump? I'm gonna actually just tell you to stand back here and guard this back area. Hopefully the turret doesn't shoot you. Oh jeez, look at all those cats. There's like a whole pack of them. probably dump some of the weight that I'm carrying. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> I'm saying I could, but I don't know if I have the uh, the storage space to do it, actually. Eh. The items we're carrying are pretty light. Oh, the turret's gonna take forever to shoot this guy. There we go. It's just gonna destroy the car in the process. Jeez. Alright, so where was I? Um, right, I think we should just take out these zombies that are coming this way anyways. I'd rather not have the car use up all of its power shooting zombies, you know? Is that what I think it is? Is that like a KitchenAid or something? What is that? Food processor? That's funny. That tile is spot on for that. They did a really good job with that. You know, at first I, I really liked the chest hole tile set, so I was reluctant to go to this, but, you know, I've been convinced. Oh, what's going on up here? Oh no, Wump Stump's being electrocuted. I'm 
sorry about the uh, heartbeat, but I don't want Wump Stump to be too badly hurt, so I just want to check on him. Oh jeez, look at that torso. Why don't you come with me? He almost died there. Like, Oh my god, this turret. He almost killed me there. I feel like I need to turn the turret off. Yeah, I don't I don't like how that turret almost killed Wump Stump. Turn off the turret. Targeting modes. Manual. Now it's going to not be shooting everything, including Lump Stump. Why don't you come with us now? You know, I normally don't use our first aid stuff. I think Wump Stump kind of needs it. Let's get some stand on the back. There we go. We have bandages for him. We do. Okay, we got plenty of bandages. I should probably bleach them or something first. No, actually, we, they should they should be fine with this. Um, can I use the bandages on your torso? I really don't normally do this because they they heal so so quickly normally from sleeping. I think that that's all the zombies that are coming this way right now. There's some smoke right there, so I think we've got a smoker zombie. Probably a smoker zombie. We got a Hulk. So we definitely don't want um, Stump to be fighting that. There we go. That one's down. I should have some atomic coffee just to speed us up a little bit. Where's that? Isn't there a hollow I just saw? No? Okay. Let's go into the bank, and then I think I'm probably going to drive Wump Stump in the car out from the city, and then just kind of go in on foot or something, if, I, if there's anything else that's worth looting. A dojo? No, just sporting goods stores. Okay. Oh, is that? I think that's a... Bookstore? Okay, well we should check out the bookstore. Let's 
stethoscope. Actually, you know what? What does this guy have? I'm interested to see what we could, uh, what parts we could get from that robot. Is this a new layout in the bank? We are in a bank, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Bank of the Treasury. I've not seen that before. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at all that. That is a ton of uh ton of safes. Oh, heard a crash. Yeah, we should probably stop. I don't know. Ignore it. It's from our south. Yeah, it's okay. I want to see what the crash is all about. Oh, there's another Hulk. Okay. It's probably a good thing that he came out here then, because otherwise it probably would have smashed like, the vehicle or something. Acidic zombie. Okay. Let's see what's in the rest of these safes, huh? Silver. Money. Which is kind of weird how the credit cards are, are worth something, but actual money itself is not worth anything. I mean, maybe that's not weird, because you can only use like the credit cards for vending machines and other stuff, which is kind of useful. Yeah, there was okay. Okay loot there. UPS. It's always good to have a few extras of. I don't know if at this point in the game I really need it, but... It is good loot. Yeah, broken security bot I don't think is... I don't know if it's worth it or not. I think I'm just going to move the vehicle. Wait, it's too heavy for its engines? What? Real? What if I turn on the electric engine as well? I've never seen that before. Did we reach like the carrying capacity for this? If I turn that on. Yeah, that will move now. Okay. So now we're using our electric engine as well as our regular engine. Huh. We are kind of near max capacity for this, this vehicle anyway, so... I'm not going to complain too much. Big group of zombies over there. And that's a zombie scientist right there, which I'd love to get some bionics from. I honestly just want to get Wump Stump away from the action right now and then go back on foot. You know, 
I'm just going to tell Wumpstump to guard this position. And I'm going to head back. Oh no, the vehicle parts came off. Oh man. Well, I'm going to have to fix that. That is really lame. I'm going to have to get extra light vehicle component or maybe even not. I could just get a regular frame and put a regular frame there now. I think I'm probably going to end this episode here though. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.